All right, I'd like to call this meeting to order. You please Play. call the roll. Wow. Mr. Gebhardt. Here. Mrs. Seguin. Here. Ms. Garstarfin. Here. Mr. Hauser. Here. Mr. Parker. Here. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Wow. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to in our Introduce our group up here. To my far right is our board member Brent Parker. To my right is Elaine Sequin, Vice President. I'm Mike Gebhardt. To my left is Ann Karstoffen, board member. To her left is Len Hauser, board member. To his left is Ann Schloss, our superintendent. And to her left is Colleen Aholt, treasurer. So, we don't have any board recognition tonight. We don't have any presentations. Nope. We don't have any visitors' comments. No. Nope. Uh, Board of Education uh, items. No. Oh. Keep rolling. Meeting minutes to approve the board meeting minutes from our October second, two thousand twenty-four meeting. So moved. Do I have a second? Second. Second. Any additions, corrections? Madam yes, Treasurer, sir. please call the roll. Ms. Christerfin? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Mr. Parker? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Treasurers, item actions. Item G? Yes, thank you. To accept the financial report for the month of September 2024 with all the bank reconciliations, investment reports, uh, appropriations, and cash balance report is attached in the enclosures and to acknowledge and express the dozen of the following gift donations. Thank oh, you wow. very much. I won't say them all, but at least I'll say who they came from. VFW Post 9340 and 9871 and 7035, Elyria Apple Festival, Aviant, Jackie Verda, The Gathering Church, Lormont, Lorraine Amvets Post Number 47, U.S. Veterans, Growell Cleveland, and Derek Weber. So thank you very much for the donations, and that's it. Okay. Can I have a motion to approve the items recommended by the treasurer so moved. in item G? So moved. Now we'll second. Second. Any additions, corrections? Madam Treasurer, please call the roll. Mr. Parker? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. Ms. Garstarfin? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Motion passes. Treasurer's other. To appoint board members, Mr. Hauser and Mrs. Seguin as primary representatives, and Mr. Parker, Mr. Gebhardt, and Ms. Garstarfin as alternatives for an expulsion hearing that will be Wednesday, November 6th, uh, 2024 at 4 o'clock. Okay. So that would be next, next board meeting? Correct. Okay. Could I have a motion to approve the items recommended by the Treasurer in item H? So moved. Second. Madam Treasurer, please call the roll. Ms. Karstarfin? Aye. Mr. Parker? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Motion passes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> treasurer's report? <laughs> yes, I do have a treasurer's report. This is in compliance with 7 CFR Part 226 for all district employees involved in the child and adult care food program are required to go undergo civil rights training annually. Um, so if I read you this paragraph, this would be your training and awareness of the program. So under the CACFP, our food service department provides after school supper or super snacks to multiple organizations within our district, including but not limited to athletics, theater, tutoring, and other extracurricular activities throughout the year. Participation in this federal program allows us to serve AM and PM snacks to the students at EECV. Due to the nature of this program, we are able to provide both super snacks and child care snacks at no cost to the students. The meals provided meet the USDA meal pattern requirements for CACFP, supper and child care snack respectively. These services are available to all eligible students regardless of race, color, natural origin, age, sex, and disability and that is the end of my report and the end of the training and if before you guys leave if you could sign off on this that i gave you the awareness and the training okay and that's thank it you. thank you item j superintendent item 
action items. Thank you. First of all, to declare the impracticality of providing transfer pay, transportation for the following students, families, and that concludes my action items. That's it. Okay, I have a motion to approve the items recommended by the superintendent as presented in item J. Motion to approve. There's a second. Okay. I'll second. Okay, please call the roll. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Ms. Seguin? Aye. Ms. Christarfin? Aye. Mr. Parker? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Item motion passes. Item Superintendent Other? No other today, but do have personnel action items. First of all, to approve the retirement of the following staff, certified staff member. Um, I know I'm getting up there because I was on the committee that hired this staff member, uh, Lisa Adelsberg, um, and she's been with us 28 years, so we wish her um, a, a very wonderful retirement. Um, also to approve the unpaid leave of absence for the following staff members listed below to approve the following athletic supplemental contracts as listed below, to approve the appointment of the following certified staff as listed below, um, to approve the appointment of the following classified staff members as listed below, to approve the resignation of the following classified staff members, and that concludes my personnel action items. Okay. I have a motion to approve by the board to approve the personnel items recommended by the superintendent in item L. So, so moved. Second. Madam Treasurer. Mr. Parker? Aye. Ms. Christarfin? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Ms. Seguin? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Motion carries. Superintendent, other? Um, yes, I do have a report tonight, um, pretty short, but I can't believe it, but this Friday is records day already. It's the end of the first quarter. I don't know where it went, but it is over. So um, there will not be school for the students this Friday, but uh, the teachers will be getting those report cards ready. Uh, Friday night is also uh, senior night at the stadium for the cheerleaders and the football team, and I believe the band, marching ba band members. So that'll be a big night on Friday. It's supposed to be really nice out too. So we play Midview. Um, also, uh, coming up, a lot of Halloween parades and, and uh, parties and all that good stuff. Uh, I think, what are we, about a week and a half away from Halloween. Um, you know, uh, a couple weeks ago, we, we moved to CEP, the Community um, Eligibility Provision, which is the, the free um, meals. And I met with Aramark yesterday, and they're seeing huge increase in meals at the high school, which is great. Um, the elementary is a lot of those students were already eating um, if they were in provision two schools. There were three buildings, but um, that's picked up as well. But the largest difference has been at the high school. So it's good to know our, our older kids are getting a, a square meal midday, right? Yes. And that is all I have right now. Okay. Board of Education, anybody have anything? No. There is no executive session, so I hate to say it, but could I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second? Second. Madam Treasurer? Ms. Gustafson. That's you. What? Say aye. <laughs> What? She's. Oh. She calls you. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Seguin. Aye. Mr. Hauser. Aye. Mr. Parker. Aye. Mr. Gebhardt. Aye. Thank you for coming. Meeting adjourned.